Gamecock Nation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my previous story. And we're going to dive right into one of my favorite ones. It's your favorite, my favorite, when we beat Alabama when they're number one in the country. So that entire week just felt different around the campus. We understood we were the underdogs. People were overlooking us, but we were like, we have all the talent. Literally, we, if, when you go back and look at that roster, we had just as many as NFL guys as Alabama did. So that entire week, guys were getting after it in practice. From ones versus ones, when it was the starters going against each other, or if it was a scout team player uh, going against a, a, a starter, everybody was getting better. It was super competitive. Coach Ward, uh, Coach Johnson was talking trash to Coach Spurrier, and it was just going back and forth, but it was healthy. And leading up into the game, i never forget, we were in a hotel, and I'm having dinner with Steven Garcia and uh, quarterback and the receivers at the table, Al Shine, my boy Jason Barnes, Ace Sanders, Lamar Scruggs, you name it. You know, we're all sitting around just having a good time. And we saw Lee Corso, college football expert, you know, puts on an Alabama hat. And that really pissed us off because we were like, man, that's the easiest thing to do. Like, it's a no-brainer where you're like, yeah, I'm going to grab this Roll Tide hat and they're going to go out there and win by 21. And Garcia looked at me and was like, hey, man, let's go prove it to the world. And uh, something that means the most to me was that opening drive for us. Um, Coach Spurrier got me the ball a couple times. We picked up a couple first downs. Uh, Alshon got involved, and I think we, we finished it off with a screen pass to Marcus Lattimore in the end zone uh, for a touchdown. That stadium was so electric. Like, literally, we the power could have went off, but you guys could have generated enough electricity to keep William Bryce going. Like, that's the best feeling that I've ever been a part of. I've been to the Super Bowl. I've been to national championship games. I've seen a lot of stuff. But being at William Bryce and hitting every decibel to human ears possible, that was just, it was almost earth shattering. Like it, it was one of the best feelings. And I literally saw the morale of Alabama just slump where Nick Saban only you can do is scratch his head. You know, I looked at Mark Ingram, Julio Jones. They just lowered their head. They were like, damn, we're in for a dog fight. And literally, you guys did not shut up. It was full volume the whole game. And you made it so difficult on them. And you guys truly don't understand how much you had an impact on the game. You made it a lot easier for us to go out and go play because you gave us all the momentum. You gave us all the energy and game cognition. From that 2010 team, you know, I'm speaking for a lot of guys. We can't thank you enough because that was one of the best nights of our life. Thank you. It was beautiful. It was amazing to storm the field and to, and to send Alabama back home with an L. And we sent them to the Capital One Bowl that year. It was no BCS, no college football playoff. It was the Gamecocks of Columbia stunning the number one Alabama team on CBS and the world saw it and we got to share it with you. So thank you. That was beautiful. And every time I walk in William Bryce, that's the first thing and the last thing I think about because it truly made a huge impact on my life. Go Cox.